Hello there, it's uh, Friday afternoon and uh, <clears throat> I just wanted to uh, get a DIY flash brew uh, recommendation from you guys if you're actually watching this video. Um, right now I have the uh, uh, Sunkissed Weiss uh, fermenting away and uh, it should be either bottling or caging that next week. It's been in my fermenter now about 10 days. The Sunkiss Weiss is just the Cooper's Wheat Beer, uh, one can of uh, Thomas Cooper's Light Malt Extract, and uh, I use some uh, uh, red wheat malt, um, which I mashed for about 50 minutes, just a small amount, about 300 grams or so. And uh, also I used uh, about two ounces of Pearl Hops, um, if you're interested in, um, in that recipe, uh, you can find it on my blog at diybeertalk.wordpress.com. It uh, might be my most recent entry. Anyway, that beer is coming out really good. I also uh, substituted the yeast from the Cooper's kit with uh, Munich Wheat Yeast by Danstar. And it, it makes a big difference. It has a little bit of that um, uh, slight clovey, uh, Kind of uh, um, slight banana and a slight bacony aroma, which is very unique. I actually like it a lot. Uh, I'll give you. I'll, I'll show you uh, uh, the current state of the fermentation on that beer shortly. So my my next beer, I'm considering. I'd love to do a pilsner. I've got a can of the Cooper's Pilsner. Uh, summertime. I just I just love having those pilsners on a hot summer day. Um, but I. My fermentation ability is limited for cooler temperatures right now. I'm currently using my fridge for uh, for my keg, so I need to buy another keg or uh, another another freezer chest. So then then I can do this and with no issue. But the recipe I had in mind was just to take Thomas Cooper's Pilsner, some light dry malt extract, and some extra saws hops. It works every time. As long as you have proper fermentation temperature anywhere between 50 and 60, uh, ideally like 55 or so, uh, you should be good to go. Uh, that is just a beautiful thing. You just have to have patience as well. So I'm considering, and, and if you guys want to tell me what I should do, I think maybe the Cooper's Mild recipe, uh, just using the Australian Pale Ale beer kit, uh, some uh, uh, maybe a pound, just a a light summery beer, a pound of dry malt extract, and then some uh, saws hops. So it'll be kind of similar to the Pilsner, but more of an ale, obviously. And uh, I'll just use a, either the kit yeast or the English ale yeast. So should be done fast and nice, pleasant, easy drinking beer for the summertime. So uh, yeah, yeah, I guess that's all I've got for now. Um, yeah, probably I'll probably do the Pilsner. Uh, no, no, I won't do the Pilsner because because uh, the mild uh, I don't have the fermentation temperatures. I'd have to quickly go buy a freezer chest and then convert it with a, a STC controller or something like that. Not hard to do, but um, in order for me to buy a freezer chest, I'd want to do it on Craigslist or something for 100, 150. I don't want to buy a, a new one for 300 to 500 dollars just for fermentation temperature control. Anyway, um, I'll give you a quick update on my um, um, Sunkiss Vice. I'll show it to you as it's going. And then after that, I'll show you my recently cake uh, steam beer that I have, which has turned out wonderfully. See you in a bit. Okay, here's my Sunkiss Vice. As you can see, it's it's um, I've already taken the Kreuzen collar out. And we are at uh, 20 degrees Celsius, which is perfect. Um, it's probably ready to keg now, but I'm gonna let it sit on this uh, yeast just for uh, another week or so. Um, I uh, poured off a little sample here, and I'm just gonna taste that out, see how it goes at room temperature. That's it. So a quick update on my hops. Here they are, I mean, they've already reach the top of the building. Um, I guess 
either I can add extenders, um, adding a piece of wood on either side, one in the middle as well of the trellis, and then add uh, an extension of the net trellis, or I could probably extend them off to the left and to the right and have the hops train them to go left and right as well, but I might go up. Um, I'm not really sure at this point. I have a few days. So, again, I got uh, the centennials are really taking off. Um, can't remember what the other hops were again. Fuggle? Is that what they are? Anyway, they're going well. They're up to the top as well. Just not as uh, bushy. I probably should have trimmed them out, but everything looks healthy, so. <laughs> Anyway, that's where we are right, here's here. My, my keyser, not the uh, fanciest design. I could work on it a little bit. Um, as you can see, my um, uh, uh, thermostat temperature controller, it's currently set to about mm, 10 degrees Celsius, which I think is an ideal serving temperature. And uh, right now I have just one keg in here. Um, it looks like... You know, see, I could I could ferment in here, but I have my keg. <laughs> uh, anyway, nothing fancy. I could play around with this a little bit. I'm gonna get a bottle instead of doing the keg. Let's serve that for now. Cheers. California steam beer, or just steam beer, made with Cooper's Real Ale. Perfect. Cheers. Mmm. Yeah.